Right now, thousands of people are mourning the people killed last week in New Zealand. There was a mass funeral for 26 victims that's being held at a New Zealand mosque. Last week, a man shot and killed 50 people in two mosques. He's in jail, accused of murder. And right now, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is drumming up support for a new task force that she's formed to re-examine the evidence in the decades-old Atlanta child murders. Wayne Williams, you may remember, is serving a life sentence connected to the murders of more than 20 black children and young adults during the late 70s and 80s. Now, CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is joining us live, and Rebecca, the attorney for Wayne Williams, has also been weighing in on this. Yeah, you're right, Karen. In fact, uh, this morning, radio station V103 featured an interview with the attorney for Wayne Williams. They also had a live interview this morning with Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. We were in the studio this morning as radio host Frank Ski interviewed Mayor Bottoms. She became emotional remembering the fear in the community. She was a little girl in the late 70s and early 80s when some black children and young adults started going missing. 29 of them all together, many of them black boys. Wayne Williams was convicted in two of the murders. Both victims in those cases were in their 20s. Still, authorities ended up closing the other cases, saying they were convinced Williams killed all of the children. Since then, there's been disagreement among authorities as to whether those cases should have been closed. Some say there's no way Williams killed all of those young people. Now, the mayor has enlisted the help of the Atlanta Police Department and the Fulton County District Attorney's Office to re-examine the evidence in some of those other cases to see if new technology might help figure out if someone else was responsible for any of those murders. The radio station also had an interview, as we said, with Lynn Watley. Here's what he said about the cases being reopened. Take those samples and, and, and test them. It might be a lead to who was involved in the case. Latanya Wilson, myself and Lewis Graham identified that case is solvable. That case is solvable. That case points to somebody directly involved in her murder. And we'll be watching in the coming weeks and months to see if that new examination of the evidence turns up anything new. We're live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.